Hello, I'm Daniel from Teach Kids Robotics, and today we'll be going over lesson one, what is a robot? A brief introduction to robots. So, what is a robot? Is a phone a robot? How about a microwave? How about R2-D2 or BB-8? All of these three objects share the same mechanical traits. They're made out of metal and they may have chips inside of them. However, we differentiate R2-D2 as a robot, but not a microwave, which is a consumer appliance. So, what is the differentiating factor between these? Uh, to identify what is a robot, we have to first come up with a definition that encompasses a robot specifically. So, a robot is a goal-oriented machine that can generally sense, plan, and act autonomously. So what do each of these mean? Sense means it's able to sense the environment, and it knows what's going on around it, such as there being a wall uh, four feet to the left of me. Plan means it's able to make decisions based on the environment, such as not running into a wall. And act means carrying out the actual decision. So this is to making sure that a car, for instance, would steer away from hitting another object. Now when we say autonomously, this refers to the ability for a robot to act without human intervention in, of any kind. So exploring this in more detail, what does it mean to sense? Let's consider the electronic car on the right. How would this car know if it would run into a wall? It needs to know about or sense its environment. So the car has eyes in the form of ultrasonic sensors, which let it see what is in front of it by sending sound waves and measuring how long it takes for the sound waves to return. The quicker the return, the closer it is to the wall. What does it mean to plan? Consider the car on the right again. It may have a goal to drive around without hitting a wall. It could then plan to only drive forward if there's no wall in front of it. Software running on an onboard computer such as an Arduino is used for decision making to control how the car drives based on what it sees or senses. The plan, such as turn when you see a wall, helps achieve the goal, don't drive into a wall, and is executed by the onboard computer. Finally, what does it mean to act? So the action a robot takes in the real world is done in the act step. Consider the car on the right. How would it act to change direction if it was driving into a wall? So the car would act by steering away, turning its wheels in a different direction electronically, and if there was no wall, it could continue steering straight ahead. Putting all these three objects together, we can identify why we consider this electronic car to be a robot. It can have a goal of not hitting a wall and driving around. It can sense if there is a wall using its ultrasonic sensor. It can plan to change direction or continue based on whether or not there's a wall in front of it. And it can act by turning its wheels if there is a wall so that it can continue driving without running into the wall. Let's apply this framework now to define why film robots such as WALL-E or BB-8 are in fact robots. We can see they all share goals, whether they be compacting trash or fixing starfighters. We can see they have sensors, such as the binocular-like lenses at the top of Wally, -E, or the various eye-looking lenses on BB-8. We can see they all have plans, whether they be to help the protagonist or to solve a Rubik's Cube. And we can see they're capable of acting in the real world, actuating and moving their motors, enabling them to either roll around as BB-8 or move their arms and roll around as Wally. -E. Finally, where can we find robots today in the real world? Robots in real life aim to do dull, dirty, or dangerous jobs that make them a better option than humans, including agricultural robots for farming, warehouse robots to move things around, cleaning robots to clean floors, or robots for exploration in environments that would be too harsh for humans, such as the Mars rover from NASA. So I hope, in general, you've now developed an understanding of what is a robot. It is this goal-oriented machine capable of both sensing its environment, understanding what's around it, planning to do something based on what it sensed, and then acting to execute some sort of change in the real world, and doing all of this autonomously, without having a human controlling this uh, behavior. 
So I leave this uh, lesson with a question to you. Have you seen any robots around you? Feel free to leave a comment below or any other question regarding robotics. I hope this was informative and we'll see you in our lesson 2 covering sensors in more detail and how robots understand the environment around them. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. This video has been brought to you by Teach Kids Robotics. You can visit us at teachkidsrobotics.com to check out other information and blog posts regarding robotics. Additionally, we offer curated lists of STEM kits in order for you to try robotics at home. Check out the link in the description.